Hello and welcome to the Sports on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. It's been an interesting weekend for Ghanaian football because another national team has failed to make it to the next stage of a major international competition. The Black Star is the under 17 male team was taking part in the Wafu Zombie Championships that would have qualified them to the under 17 African Cup of Nations. They could not beat Nigeria in the grand finale. They were kicked out on penalties. To review the performance, we will look at it from two angles. The issue at stake that everybody is talking about is especially the change in the format. Now, as you may know, Ghana could play a team that was drawn with them in the qualifiers from anywhere else on the continent. So Ghana could meet an Egypt or um, a Somalia from the east or a Kenya from the east or a South Africa from the south. This, these days, it does not work that way. It's been all made into zonal championships, meaning that Ghana will keep on playing West African nations in the qualifiers. And as you know, the West African sub-region has the strongest zone in any level of football, male or female, in Africa. So the question is simple. Do you think that the Confederation of African Football's new format helps the best teams from the continent to progress into the global stage? On the phone with me is Abdul Hayate, who is a soccer agent and is known to follow the under-17 um, players and also the national teams. The line has just dropped as well. So, uh, as I was saying, the under this was uh, the national anthems being played before the game. Ghana had breezed into parts of the championship, but other parts had been difficult and these are the championships in Niger. The Starlet uh, had a torrid time in some of the games but largely they were able to get into the final round. In one of the games they came back from a goal behind and it's not something you see of Ghanaian teams at any level coming back from goal, a goal down to win. And uh, there's also the issue that for the under-17s in Ghana, usually if the teams don't win trophies or don't do well, the entire generation goes out of fashion, and which is why we're asking the question, is the West African format the best way for Africa to have its most skillful and gifted players at the global level? resource person is not available at the moment. We'll continue this discussion shortly on the post.